This is Mrs. Appiah with Lesson 2 from Module 1, 8th Grade, Multiplication of Numbers in Exponential Form. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students use the definition of exponential notation to make sense of the first law of exponents. Students see a rule for simplifying exponential expressions involving division as a consequence of the first law of exponents. Students write equivalent numerical and symbolic expressions using the first law of exponents. Our essential questions are, how do you multiply powers of the same number, and how do you divide powers of the same number? So in our first section, our focus is not simply to simplify, but to find out how do you do it. Our first problem, 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 7th. So notice that we have a common base. 3 to the 5th means to repeatedly multiply 3. And we want to do that a total of five times. So that is 3 raised to the fifth power is to repeatedly use 3 as a factor five times. Then we want to multiply that by 3 to the seventh. So 3 to the seventh is to repeatedly multiply 3 a total of using the factor seven times. We can rewrite that with our common factor of 3 being multiplied over and over a total of 5 plus 7 times. And then we can simply write that repeated multiplication as the base of 3 and then our new exponent would be 5 plus 7. And we can simplify that further. However, this section is just how do you multiply it. So the way that we multiply it is that we keep the base and we add the exponents. So let's add that to your notes. We want to keep the common base. And add the exponents. So let's take a look at, at a couple of examples. We've got 5 squared times 5 to the 4th. We have a common base of 5, and we add our exponents, 2 plus 4. In the next example, we have a negative fraction being raised to a power. And so our common base is negative 2 thirds. And remember when you have a fraction or a negative or both, that you keep them in parentheses. And then we add our exponents of 4 plus 5. As a general rule, if x is any number and m n are positive integers, then our rule for multiplying the same number with exponents would be to add the exponents. So we would rewrite this as x is our base, m plus n. And then this is just an explanation of why that works with the variables, similarly to what we did up here with the numbers. So x to the m can be rewritten as x times x dot 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 times x. And our first exponent is m times. And we're multiplying that times x, which is repeatedly being multiplied, a total of n times. And we can simplify that by writing our product of x times x repeatedly, a total of m plus n times, with a common base of x and our exponent being m plus n. So that's just an explanation of why this works. Pause the video and complete the exercises on the rest of the pages, on the rest of the page 1 through 8. Resume the video when you're ready. Check your answers. Now, what would happen if there were more terms with the same base? In all of these examples, there have only been two terms with the same base. So write an equivalent expression for each problem, and we'll do this on the next page. Notice in exercise 9 that we have the same base, but it is used three times. So you follow the same procedure and just keep adding your exponents. Our common base is 9. And we add the exponents 4 plus 6 plus 13. Pause the video and complete exercise 10. 
In the next section, can the following expressions be simplified? If so, write an equivalent expression. If not, explain why. In exercise 11, notice that they are not all of the common base, but we do have some things in common. What we can do here is we can rewrite the part that has a common base and add their exponents, 9 plus 3, and then multiply that times the next common base and add their exponents, 5 and 14. This is not completely simplified, but this is showing how it would be done, which is the purpose of this section. We'll do exercise 14 next. In the first part of the problem, it says 2 to the 4th times 8 squared. And you would look at this and think that can't be simplified because it is a different base. But notice that it says that it is equal to 2 to the 4th times 6. Well, 2 to the 4th is equivalent to 2 to the 4th. That means that um, 8 squared has to be equal to 2 to the 6th. So let's take a look at how that works. 8 squared can be rewritten as 8 times 8. And 8 times 8, 8 can be written as 4 times 2. And the 4s can be written as 2 times 2. So 8 squared is actually equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times two which is where the 2 to the 6 comes from. Now this you can use the law of exponents on. It says that if the base is the same, you add the exponents. Pause the video and complete exercises 12, 13, 15, and 16. In exercise 17, let x be a number. Simplify the expression of the following number. And in this case, we will be simplifying it completely. So we have 2x to the third power times 17x to the seventh power. We can rewrite this using any order, any grouping, because it is all multiplication. So we're going to regroup this, putting our coefficients first and then our variables last. Then we'll use our um, law of exponents. So we have 2 times 17 is equal to 34, and x to the third times x to the seventh is x to the third plus seventh. And simplifying that completely, we get 34x to the 10th power. In exercise 18, let a and b be numbers. Use the distributive law to simplify the expression of the following number. Remember when you are distributing that you are multiplying the outside term by both of the inside terms. So we have a times the first term, a, plus a times the second term, b. So this a is being distributed. Now, this is a times a, and a times a can be written using an exponent. a is a factor being used twice, plus ab. Notice that when I'm rewriting ab, I'm not using multiplication sign or parentheses. You just put the variables next to each other. In exercise 19, let a and b be numbers. Use the distributive law to simplify the expression of the following number. b times the quantity a plus b. So in this problem, we want to distribute the b to the first and the second term. We multiply b times the first term, which is a, plus b times the second term, which is b. b times a, we just rewrite in alphabetical order without any multiplication sign. B times B is using B as a factor twice, so that is B squared. Exercise 20. Let A and B be numbers. Use the distributive law to simplify the expression of the following number. The quantity A plus B times the quantity A plus B. So what we want to do for this problem is we need to distribute the A to both the first and the second term in the parentheses. And then we want to distribute the b times the first and the second term in the parentheses. So the first one is a times the quantity. I'm going to switch pens here. The first part is a times the quantity a plus b. And we did that on the previous page. And that gave us a squared plus ab. And the second part 
is distributing the B toward both of those terms. And that one is B times the quantity A plus B. And we just did that above. And that gave us AB plus B squared. To further simplify this, notice that I have like terms, AB plus AB. Well, you have one group of AB plus one more group of AB. That means you have two groups of AB, and that's written as 2AB. Bring down the A squared and the B squared, and that is your simplified answer. Next, how do you divide different powers of x? So this is the second part of our lesson, how to divide different powers of x. We know how to multiply different powers of a number x. Now we'll learn how to divide different powers of a number x. I want you to notice how the formula that we used previously, which was x to the m times x to the n, is equal to x to the m plus n. I want you to notice how that comes into play as we continue this lesson. We're going to use the first problem to learn how and why the second rule of exponents works. We're going to rewrite 3 to the seventh power using the denominator as part of the numerator. So if I rewrite 3 to the seventh, I could rewrite that as 3 to the fifth times 3 squared. That is equivalent to 3 to the seventh then I'm just going to move over 3 to the 5th power. So do you see that those are equivalent? Now if I simplified that, I would get an answer of 3 squared. And I want you to observe that the 2 is the difference between the 7 and the 5. Do you notice that 2 is the difference between 7 and 5? In general, if any, if x is any number, m, n are positive integers, then when you divide x, m by x to the nth power, the answer will be x to the m minus n. So summarizing our rule of how do you divide different powers of a number x, you keep the common base. But instead of adding the exponents, you subtract them. Subtract your exponents. For examples 3 and 4, we have 3 to the 5th raised to the 8th power divided by 3 to the 5th to the 6th power. So we want to follow the rules and keep the common base of 3 fifths. Then subtract your exponents, 8 minus 6. Notice that you start with the exponent from the divisor and then subtract the exponent from the dividend. Actually, I said that backwards. This is the exponent. Whoops, I want to write that with a pen. This is the exponent from the dividend. And this is the exponent from the divisor. And the order matters in division. So the order matters in the subtraction. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. We have 4 raised to the fifth power divided by 4 raised to the second power. Our common base is 4, and we subtract our exponents 5 minus 2. Pause the video and complete exercises 21 through 26. Resume the video when you are ready. In the next section, can the following expressions be simplified? If yes, write an equivalent expression for each problem. If not, explain why not. So exercise 27. Taking a look at the first part of the problem, we have 2 to the 7th divided by 4 squared. And it looks like that cannot be simplified because you have two different bases. However, 4 can be rewritten. 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So if we have 4 squared, that means 4 times 4. And that means 
another 2 times 2. So altogether, we could replace 4 squared with 2 to the 4th. And notice that's what they've done. Now we can simplify this using our new law of ex exponents that says when you divide and the base is the same, you simply subtract the exponents. Then in exercise 29, here we have 3 to the 5th times 2 to the 8th divided by 3 squared times 2 to the 3rd. So we can treat this as 3 to the 5th divided by 3 squared multiplied by 2 to the 8th divided by 2 to the 3rd. So here we have a common base. So we have 3 and then we subtract our exponents 5 minus 2. Then we multiply that by our common base of 2 and subtract the exponents 8 minus 3. Pause the video and complete exercises 28 and 30. Exercise 31. Let x be a number. Simplify the expression of each of the following numbers. So <clears throat> we have 5 divided by x to the third times the quantity 3 times x to the eighth. So let's just rewrite this part first as a fraction. We've got 5 over x to the third times 3x to the 8th all over 1. Now let's rewrite this you putting our constants first or our coefficients first and then our variables. So I'm going to rewrite the numerator as 5 times 3 times x to the 8th all over x to the 3rd times 1. And then I can change this in any order. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 3 times x to the 8th all over 1 times x to the third. Then I'm going to focus on this part first and 5 times 3 is 15. 15 divided by 1 is 15. And then I'm going to multiply that by and I'm going to use a dot here for multiplication <clears throat> and I have a common base of x and I subtract my exponents 8 minus 3. I'm going to completely simplify this and write this as 15x to the fifth power. Pause the video and do problems B e and C. In this lesson, you have learned to multiply powers of the same base, add the exponents. To divide powers of the same base, subtract the exponents.